This was a ready attachment uh, after a vitrectomy five years ago for another colleague. You can see the posterior border is a micro tear. Uh, the most important thing in this case is the massive peripheral vitreous remnants and fibrotic uh, peripheral vitreous. I'm grasping these vitreous and opening this, uh, this vitreous tunnel. It is an abnormal vitreous and there is a, a, a very adherent and posterior vitreous base and then a tunnel of vitreous that can be dissected from the ora serrata to this vitreous base, so quite abnormal. You can see the line of insertion of the vitreous and posterior to this there is no, vit there, there is no vitreous but anterior there is no vitreous base, proper vitreous base, so you can dissect this space, it's probably because a lot of uh, peripheral vitreous was left in the in the previous surgery and the contraction of this vitreous generated this this uh, loop of of vitreous traction after dissecting this space i'm segmenting with the illuminated pick and the cutter uh, the the insertion of the vitreous base which is quite uh, fibrotic you can see how nicely I can do this, but 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 the in the inferior part of the of the retina, the retina is attached, and there is still this uh, vitreous remnants. Unfortunately, I can't remove it without tearing the retina due to the laser. I'm removing the the epiretinal membranes posterior to the to, to the vitreous base, and as you can see in this area of laser of atrophy. Uh, the membranes are so adherent that uh, I'm about to tear the retina so I quit uh, pulling the membranes and just segment them. Now on the PFCL I'm removing the, the remnants of, of the retinal membranes or ILM and I can check that the ILM was already pierced in the macular area. Now I'm saving this uh, vitreous after dissecting this, this tunnel and the anterior hyal is extremely fibrotic. You can see how dense the posterior serial ligament is, this white is line. And also in this uh, temporal area, also there is a loop of uh, peripheral vitreous contraction that I'm first opening with forces and then cutting with uh, the cutter. And now I'm uh, uh, completing this segmentation of this uh, peripheral vitreous tunnel in this superior area. And I, I can see there is a micro tear that probably caused this uh, redetachment, you can see the micro tear there. And once I've segmented and, and cut the insertion of the vitreous base, I'm saving this area and also in the in the temporal area as well with the cutter. But now I need to relax the anterior retina, so I'm grasping the posterior serial ligament and opening the Salman space. You can see that uh, how the the, the the Salman space is being opened. And once I relax in the the the, the, the this anterior hyaloid, the, the retina falls back, and, and this anterior retinal loop is completely relaxed. Um, I'm keep on performing this maneuver in all the, the this area. You can see once I grasp the posterior serial ligament, I can open the the fibrotic anterior hyaloid and I'm relaxing completely the, the traction over the anterior retina. You can see how nicely the retina is folding back, this anterior retinal loop, and uh, there is no more contraction from the periphery. Uh, the anterior, posterior serial ligament is extremely scarred in the area of the previous sclerotomies, as you can see uh, soon there in this area. There is a weightless area that is related to this fibrotic uh, uh, incarceration of the of the anterior hyaloid. Once <coughs> you open this anterior hyaloid, the, 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 the peripheral retina is relaxed without any anterior traction. You can see there is a fibrotic area, and once I remove it, op, it opens the space. So after opening the, the space and lifting the anterior hyaloid, I'm saving all the, the remnants with the cutter and I will complete this anterior hyaloid dissection. This is the scarred area I told you about, about with the previous sclerotomy. And once I cut this tissue, the retina is much more relaxed and there is no anterior contraction. In other areas where the, the scarring of the anterior hyaloid is not so severe, you can do this with the beveled cutter. You uh, put the cutter into the Salman space, cut the space, and then pull back 
the, the anterior hyoid opening the, the space and relaxing the peripheral retina. So this is anterior hyoid dissection and then I'm finishing with a little bit more of vitreous saving of these uh, remnants once the anterior hyoid is, is removed. And now the pars plana is completely clean. So I'm marking the retinal tears and uh, performing uh, laser at the posterior uh, uh, pre-existent uh, retinal tears and also this micropore at the uh, peripapillary area of atrophy. And now I'm doing fluid air exchange uh, using PFCL to remove completely or almost completely the, the, the subretinal fluid and doing laser 360. This was the only eye of the patient, so I decided to leave uh, silicone oil in the patient. This is a case where it is quite important to know the, the anterior high dissection.